Alzheimer's disease and other types of dementia are complex illnesses that affect people in many different ways. Today we're spending time with geriatrician Dr. Jasneet Parmar. She'll help us better understand the difference between normal age-related memory loss and Alzheimer's disease and other types of dementia. Jasneet, I'm trying to understand the difference between normal age-related memory loss and the various types of dementia. I wonder if you could first tell me what is normal age-related memory loss? As we get older, most of us are going to have some changes with our memory. It's considered physiological and it's benign. Most of it is benign. Mm -hmm. So so long it's benign and not causing any problems in day-to-day -day life, we consider that as normal part of aging. I'll give you some examples. For example, people as they get older, they have more difficulty recalling information. Okay? Recalling names is a common problem. However, it'll come back to them at a later time. Another common example is misplacing things. You know, they'll struggle to find their keys, mm -hmm. particularly. Mm -hmm. um, however, they'll get around to it and they'll find it eventually. As long as, the, as long as the person's ability to function does not get impaired. You mentioned benign memory loss. Could you explain that a little further? Benign would be when it actually does not impair the person's function. Mm -hmm. So they can continue to function uh, in their daily lives. So they may not be able to have pristine memory. However, they can manage their daily chores. Uh, they, uh, recall, uh, they can uh, recall appointments. They may start using um, the calendar more, make more notes, etc. Uh, however, you know, their ability to get around, um, manage their money, manage their medications, um, cooking, organizing, vacations, etc. You know, their day-to-day -day function is not impaired. Thank you for explaining what normal age-related memory loss is. Now, what is dementia? So dementia would be a term that we use when there is day-to-day -day function that gets impaired as a result of cognitive impairment. Okay. So when people who have cognitive impairments such as memory loss, start to have difficulty in their day-to-day -day functioning. We term that condition dementia. What does early stage dementia look like? In the early stages of dementia, a person usually will have some cognitive changes, which presents as most commonly um, as memory problems, so they may have difficulty with short-term memory, so they may have difficulty recalling what happened um, um, during the day or the day before, they have difficulty recalling uh, conversations, um, they may forget um, people having visited them recently. Mm -hmm. um, along with memory pro problems, they may develop problems uh, in the area of language. So mm -hmm. they, they may start having difficulty finding words. Um, they may leave, leave their sentences incomplete. Um, they may um, forget names. Mm -hmm. uh, they may start, have some difficulty recognizing people hmm. that they should, like neighbors and extended family, etc. cetera. Um, they often will develop some um, problems with uh, what we call um, executive function. And that's the ability to plan and organize their life. And that's usually reflected in their now inability to maybe do complex um, activities such as plan a vacation, plan mm -hmm. a large meal. Mm -hmm. uh, they may have um, start having some difficulty with higher function um, such as managing um, um, the more complicated um, money transactions. Mm -hmm. right. They may have difficulty managing their medications, recognizing when they're running out, when do they need to make a doctor's appointment, etc. Um, sometimes people get lost. Mm. They don't know where they are um, in the space around them, so they get turned around easily. Mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. in parking lots and shopping malls. Yeah. Um, so those would be some of the hallmarks of early stages of dementia. So what is the difference between Alzheimer's and dementia? 
Alzheimer's is a type of dementia. Okay. So it's a particular illness that affects the brain and gives rise to dementia. So there are many types of dementia. Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia. Okay. So uh, Alzheimer's is considered um, a type of dementia. And there are many of, of the other types. I, I can give you some examples. Uh, another very common type of dementia is called vascular dementia. Mm. And this is um, because of vascular changes to the brain, uh, while Alzheimer's is a degenerative problem. Um, sometimes the two occur together and we call that mixed dementia. And then there are some rarer forms of dementia. You can get um, a dementia called frontal lobe dementia that primarily it's also degenerative disorder mm -hmm. and it affects primarily the frontal lobes um, of the brain. So it gives um, the dementia has a typical picture to it. So um, there are, there are uh, dementias related with different diseases, such as you can get dementias with Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. um, um, there is another degenerative dementia called Lewy body dementia. These are the five most common types of dementia. Um, however, um, Alzheimer's is by far the commonest and has gotten the most, most attention of all the dementias. Thank you, that really helps me understand the difference between age-related memory loss and dementia. Thank you so much, Jasmine.